My name is Vera English. I live in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And uh, when I found out that Delta Gidron was touring with Backstreet Boys in our area, which is West Palm Beach, I was, to say the least, was ecstatic. Uh, got our tickets, my sister and I, and um, off we went to see Delta Goodrum. Uh, honestly, just hearing her live brought back so many memories growing up and going through so many, what you would think, hard things in life helped a lot and hearing it live with that energy uh, it's i still I, I still am speechless when i met her backstage i started crying i was crying and she was like why are you crying i'm like i'm crying from happiness i actually i'm still crying <laughs> because she is such a beautiful person inside and out her songs it just it just lifts you, they just lift you up and seeing her perform seeing her talk to all her fans no matter what color or race or age you are the way she talks to you the way she it's like she's a friend of mine and we had known each other for so many years and i really wanted to thank her for that because i wish people were like that a lot of people were like that but they're not and delta is a great example of what a true artist should be just reflecting projecting what they are on photos instagram and in real life she is a true icon and i just wanted to say thank you delta for radiating that happiness and good vibes and just keep doing what you do because we love you all over the world thank you so very much Hi, my name is Amy and I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina, where I got to meet Delta at the show that she did here uh, with the Backstreet Boys. I had a really big, well, not really big, kind of small pink sign, hot pink sign that said hashtag here for Delta um, that I got asked to sit down by security because apparently I was standing up too much, um, but I regret nothing and would do it again in a heartbeat um, if it meant that everyone knew how uh, much of a fangirl I was being for Delta at that moment because she's incredible. Uh, it was great that I got to go with my mom um, and bring her with me too. And then we were fortunate enough to get to meet Delta after the show, which was really special. Um, something that I will never forget, obviously, with my mom and then and just getting to talk to her and talk to Matt um, and just you know tell her how much we love the bunker downs over um, you know the lockdown and how much we really enjoyed listening to her music, um, which has just been such a part of my life. And I really just enjoy um, how uplifting, but truthful and genuine um, and heartfelt it is. And, and getting to meet Delta was so exciting after having kind of seen everyone's experiences in Australia and not knowing, you know, when she might come to the States and, you know, having it with the Backstreet Boys certainly made it um, even more memorable, but hoping that there'll be more um, in store ahead. If not, I'm sure I will certainly try to jet to Australia at some point now that the uh, COVID seems to be hopefully behind us, but um, getting, to, getting to meet Delta in North Carolina was certainly special and something that I'll never forget. And I'm so thankful um, to be a fan and I will continue to um, just get as many people as I can on board with her as well, because she's absolutely incredible. So thank you again. Um, and thank you for filming the video message for my son, uh, Jameson. He absolutely adores Delta as well and is very excited anytime we listen to her in the car. So thank you again. Really appreciate it. Bye. Hi, Delta. I'm Jameson. Say thank you for my video message. Thank you for my video message. Hope to see you in North Carolina sometime soon. Hope you see you in North Carolina soon. Hi, my name is Kelly and I met Delta in Toronto on July 1st. Um, I've been a fan since 2006 and I don't think I actually even told Delta this story. Um, I was actually on a trip with my high school choir uh, for my grade 12 year and we were going to London and Paris and it just so happened that the night we got to London it was quite late and I turned on the TV in our hotel room and somebody had left it on a music video station and it was playing Innocent and Eyes and yeah I just fell in love with that song and I watched it all the way to the end 
so I could get the name of the artist and then I wrote it down on the back of my hand <laughs> and I kept it there all week so that I would remember when I got home and yeah the rest of it's kind of history. So I mean words can't even describe how excited I was when I found out she was going to be coming back here uh, to perform. And especially Toronto, you know, it's always special. You can see somebody that you really admire in your hometown. And, uh, you know, I haven't had the opportunity to share with a lot of my friends uh, what an amazing performer uh, Delta is in person. So, yeah, that was really special for me. Um, Delta, I don't even know where to start, honestly. Like, <laughs> um, I mean, it's been what, 14, 14 years since the first time we met uh, in Buffalo for In This Life, and then I think nine or ten years since the last time um, with Michael Bolton in Hartford. And honestly, I was starting to think like that was it. That, that was all, that was what I was going to get. <laughs> and, you know, I started thinking maybe I should emotionally prepare myself that, that that's it, that, you know, like that's all I'm gonna get and I was lucky to get that and I should just be happy with that and, and be okay with that. And uh, right about when I got to that point was the uh, the announcement about the Backstreet Boys. So yeah, that was <laughs> perfect timing, super excited. And um, yeah, I mean, you just, you always make us feel so special and and included and important and you know there's really there's no one else like you you know that just really lights up the whole room and puts a smile on everybody's face and and makes us feel like we're part of the team you know and um, it really means a lot to feel included and, and seen um, by the people that you admire and that you look up to. So thank you for that and uh, thank you for coming back here. Um, I really, really hope that we get to see you here again soon, hopefully not in another 10 years, hopefully less than that. <laughs> uh, if not, maybe I'm going to have to just fly over to Australia, we'll see. But. Yeah, it was uh, super, super amazing to get to see you again and to see everybody else get to, you know, over here get to see how amazing and special that you are and uh, hear all the amazing things everyone had to say about, you know, somebody that I know is, is so special and so spectacular. So, um, yeah, thanks for coming around and I, I really hope that we get another chance to see you soon. Hey, this is Joanne from Toronto, Canada. Bought the tickets to Backstreet Boys just to see Delta Goudreau. And it was definitely worth it. Been a fan since day one, and so I've waited 20 years for this. So thank you, Delta, for uh, signing all my piano books and CDs, and actually taking the time to just chat. Hope to see you again uh, when you come back for a solo tour. Well, I just want to say Delta, love you a lot and uh, love your music, love your pianos as well. And I uh, hope to see you again in the future. Delta, it's Stella from the Toronto show who you met on July 2nd of this year during your North American tour. Um, I just wanted to say that I'm so incredibly proud of you for the incredible North American tour that you did across the US and Canada, here in, especially here in Toronto. I love that so much. Um, honestly, I'm so, so happy to see you had the absolute time of your life and that it was such a special moment for you, but honestly, you made such a huge, huge difference to so many of us um, in coming here, and you made so many dreams come true and healed so many hearts by 
doing that and brought so much love and light that we appreciate you so, so, so much for coming over here. Um, and yeah, I know personally, I found out on June 3rd that you were coming to North America and I was so, so, so ecstatic. It seemed so unbelievable that it was really happening. And I didn't want to mention this on the night of the Toronto show because I wanted it to be an incredibly fun and joyous night for you as well and myself. Um, but when I heard about the North American tour on June 3rd, it had only been four days since I lost my Nana, who was one of the most important people in my life. Um, so it literally felt that um, you were coming here right when I needed you most. And I always know you're always there whenever we need you the most. Um, but to find out then to take the risk and Google or like go on your website and find out that you were coming to Toronto and we're going to be right in my backyard it was just so absolutely incredibly insane and amazing. And then to see that um, other people in the shows before the Toronto one, that they were going to, that they met you and therefore that I actually might meet you was just like such a dream come true. Because because of you, I made two of my best friends who currently live in Melbourne, Tammy and Alexandra. And they've told me, like, they've seen you perform live before, and it, they've told me there's no experience quite like me, like, seeing you perform live. And I just never thought that could happen. And then in May, May 10th, I found out that I got accepted, which I told you at the Toronto show, into an Australian medical school after being rejected across Canada and literally my dream of med school was able to come true because of you um, but also that meant you know maybe I'd have a chance of seeing you perform live in Australia since I'm coming to Australia for four years now but then like you came here before I even got there and my friends were totally right. Seeing you perform live was the most epic thing in the world and the most beautiful thing that could have ever happened. Um, but even more than that, the most epic experience for me was that hug you gave me when um, I remember asking if I could hug you and then I did and I literally never wanted to let you go and you squeezed me back. And um, in that moment, I know it couldn't take away the pain of losing my nana, but um, it took away that hug you gave me. So much pain of um, all the things that you've changed for me. So the pain of thinking that I would never reach my dream because I'm literally going to Australian medical school because of you. Otherwise, I would have never been brave enough to do that. Or um, it took away the pain of feeling like I would never be able to fit in or never have friends because... I made my best friends through um, you and through sharing the love of your music. So yeah, that one hug just took away a lot of years of pain and it meant so, so much to me. Um, yeah, and then, you know, just because the Toronto show was over, it didn't mean the memory making stopped. Um, I was so honored and grateful that Jason from CBC News featured me in his article, um, in, including my photo and my story about finding your music. Um, you have a Wonder Woman, Kinga. I can't believe she took that amazing video of me, like, singing along to Wings, um, and then you posted it on your Instagram. That was just absolutely insane. I'm like, yes, everyone's gonna know how much I love you now, even if the people who weren't at the Toronto show. So yeah, huge Thank you to Kinga for that as well. Um, and then the sign. I had to literally fight security to bring those signs in, but seeing you hold the Welcome to Toronto sign and just knowing that myself and like some of the others who were at the Toronto show, including Jason, um, I also met like Simon and Isa and like other people at the Toronto show. Um, yeah, knowing that we made you feel really welcome in Toronto was absolutely incredible. Like, and the fact that you held that sign really showed that. Um, so yeah, all in all, I just want to thank you for coming to North America, coming to Toronto, and meeting me, and just making so much of a difference to so many of your North American supporters, your North American family, and we really are so, so proud of you, 
and cannot wait to see what you have in store next. And yeah, I'm really honored to have come up with the idea of making this video to show how much you meant to every single one of us here in North America. So yeah, all my love from Stella from Toronto. Hi, my name is Shauna Weaver and I had the most amazing experience meeting Delta at the Darien Lake New York show. I've been a fan of hers since about 2005 and I have made a strong connection to her music and to her as a person as I have battled through chronic illness. So the chance to meet her was something that I longed for for a very, very long time. And I wasn't sure that it would actually happen as there hasn't been a whole lot of experiences and opportunities with her in the US. When she announced she was doing the tour with Backstreet, I was completely floored as I'm a huge Backstreet fan and I did not see that coming at all. And um, I decided that I was going to go to multiple concerts. So I went to four, five, including the one that was canceled. And I was able to talk to her after each one and tell her a little bit about myself. I would love to see more shows in the U.S. And thank you, Delta, for all you do for us. Um, your presence is felt all over the world. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Hi, Delta. It's Karen from Washington, D.C. Congratulations on a sensational run of DNA Tour. It's very memorable for me because the nearest city near me was Bristol, Virginia, which was rained out. But these wings were made to fly to the nearest next city, which was Camden, Jersey. I was just very determined to not miss this precious moment that Miss Delta Goodrum came all the way here to perform for us and uh, as a fan from afar I've watched so much of your concert footage, your uh, TV shows, as well as your movies and also your bunker down sessions in the middle of the night here and I also have Aussie friends who are big fans of yours and they've shared so many incredible experiences of meeting you so I've always been in awe of your talent and your strength and your bright light but to be able to attend and be immersed in your live performance and then getting to meet you and hug you and fangirl in front of you is just an experience I will truly treasure forever and especially for me one of my goals during uh, quarantine was to learn uh, this beautiful instrument and your music and you as an artist is truly such an inspiration for me. It's a motivation. Uh, you are definitely one of my piano inspirations, top, top, along with your sister and fellow DG queen, Miss Debbie Gibson. You both are truly, I just bow down to you as, as artists. And I know that one day, I can't wait that these wings will take me to Australia and see your concert there. Uh, so again, congratulations. Hi, I'm Rachel and I'm from Long Island, New York. I got a chance to meet Delta when she came to perform here at Jones Beach. I only know a few of the Backstreet Boys songs, but I came to the concert just to see Delta perform, even got pit tickets and everything. When I met her, I got to take a picture with her and she really is the sweetest, most genuine person. It really was a surreal moment for me because I've always dreamed of meeting her in real life and didn't actually believe that I would get a chance to do that anytime soon because of the pandemic and because of how far Australia is from me. I love listening to all of her songs and I love dancing to them. I even watched all of her Bunker Down videos at 3 a.m. in the morning. Her songs, her personality, and her heart are truly amazing and she deserves to go big here in the United States and everywhere. There really is nobody else like her and she truly loves and cares for all of her fans. I'm so proud to be one of her biggest fans here in New York, always supporting her and it was a dream come true 
finally meeting her in person and I'm so appreciative of her coming to perform for us here in the United States. Hopefully I get to see her again soon. Hi, my name is Jane Day Smith and I'm from Sydney, Cape Breton, Nova Scotia in Canada. My husband David and I had the opportunity to drive 10 hours to go and see Delta at the July 21st show in Bangor, Maine. We had a fabulous time at the concert. She was fabulous. We were absolutely thrilled that we finally got to see her after being fans for 20 years. Um, we specifically wore uh, Sydney Swan's garb, which is an AFL team in Australia that Delta supports. And she saw us in the crowd and she pointed to us and was like really excited to see that we had were wearing those um so when we got to meet her uh she thought maybe we were aussies but we were no like we're canadians but we're fans of the sport so uh that was pretty cool um she's just such a nice down-to-earth genuine person she's exactly how you think she would be um we watched we've watched her a lot of her on uh the voice australia so when you finally get to meet somebody that you've spent so much time you know watching and listening to their music it's just it's fantastic and when they are exactly the person that you think they would be it's even more amazing so we were absolutely thrilled to get to meet her and um, we had a fabulous time and hopefully one day we will get to see her in concert again and uh, many thanks to Stella for putting this together. Hey there, my name is Jessica. I'm at Delta in Bethel, New York. Um, I was wearing this crazy lemon outfit because I had this idea that she is going to see me and she is going to recognize me if I go meet her because it's this crazy lemon outfit that I had on. I don't know. But I did meet her and it was amazing. She hugged me and she gives the best hugs. And, you know, I've listened to her for the majority of my life, more than half of my life. And her music has gotten me through so much. The death of my mother, uh, family troubles, relationship troubles, just all of it. Too much to count. But um, she's watching this. Thank you. Thank you for seeing me. Thank you for meeting me. And thank you for making me feel seen. Because meeting you was one of my craziest dreams come true, and I hope to do it again, and I hope you tour America. Freaking love you.